Hi, in today's video we will see how we can use Python within the R Studio. So let's get started. I would open a new R script. I would need a package called Reticulate. If you don't have it, please go and install it. Okay, so the package has now been installed. Now I'm able to use it, so I'll say library reticulate. And I create another variable called version. This is the latest version of Python available at this moment. You just have to go to the web and see what's the latest version available of Python. Now I'm issuing a command called install underscore Python, which comes from reticulate. And version is this version. As Python is already installed on my computer, it didn't have to do anything. So now I'm going to create a virtual environment of Python on my computer, and I'm giving it a name called MyPython. And remember the version which we said was Python version equals 3.9.6. Okay, with this, a virtual version of MyPython has been created on my computer, and Next step is to use that environment. And I would use these commands to install some packages on my, or libraries on my Python, on the virtual environment. So running the first line, second line, third line. It's going to install the matplotlib, numpy, and pandas library on my computer. Okay, so all those packages have been installed. Now let's create a new file, but this time not an R script, I want to create a Python script. And let's see if we can use it. I'm going to give these commands, which is a Python chart using the matplotlib library. So using this little Python script, if I run it, I get a chart and also get the data for that. So in the end, let's recap what we have done. So whenever you are installing Python for the first time, you have to run these commands from an R script. And every time you want to use the Python, when you open the R Studio, you have to run these two commands using an R script or from the R console. Whenever you want to install any package, you got to run these commands. Just replace the name of the package over there. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.